Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of WebTech Tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add introduction on Qualtrics survey. Keep watching the video till the end and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you've not yet. Also press the notification bell icon so that YouTube will notify you whenever we post a new video. Start by opening up your web browser and in the address bar at the top of the screen type in www.qualtrics.com and press enter on your keyboard. Make sure you're logged into your Qualtrics account first. If you're not, click on the login link at the top right hand. Enter your credentials for your account and click on the sign in button to log into your account. Once you're logged in and you are in your home page of Qualtrics, if you'd like to add an introduction to one of your survey, open up the survey first from the list. I've chosen this survey in order to add an introduction to it. As you can see that, I don't have any introductions on my survey and it's not looking pretty good. It's a good idea to begin your survey with an introduction, so go ahead and write an introduction with the assumption that the respondents don't know much about the topic of your survey. Go ahead and point out your first question and click on the plus button. At the top of the screen, you can simply go ahead and type in an introduction for yourself. In order to add an introduction on your survey, go to the top left corner and under question type, click on the drop down and click on the text entry tab. Click on this click to write the question text field and type in your introduction. Once you do that, you've created an introduction for your survey, which looks like this. Make sure you use a simple and clear language to briefly explain the topic and purpose of the survey. After you are done with it, you can check how it would appear as a preview. Once you click on the preview button, you'll be able to see that you've added an introduction on Qualtrics survey. That is how it is done. I hope the tutorial was helpful to you. If it was, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Comment down below in the comment box if you have a question or a feedback for us. I'll soon be back with more tutorial videos like this. Thank you for watching.